Welcome back to GSL Code A with Wolf and Artosis. We have one more player to go through to Code S from this group. And, and one more player to go to Code B. That's right. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy the difference between winning and losing here. Yeah. Weird. It's this almost like, like a winner take all type of uh, tournament here. You know, like like IEM World Championships, 100,000 to first, nothing to second. This is kind of similar. Code S to first. Amazing. Awesome. Your career is doing so well. Code B, the other one. Oh crap, will we ever see you again? Yeah. You know? Well, with these two, no matter who falls to Code B, I would say we'd see them again because they're both really, really strong gamers. Well, if I mean, both the thing these is, guys made a Code S, it wouldn't be weird. If Symbol falls to Code B, it's a bit uh, worse for him than it would be if Billy drops because he still has Pro League that yeah, he can play in all the true. time, but Symbol just doesn't have that. Yeah. Unless he gets picked up as a new KT Zerg. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. I I don't know. I, mean, I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon, but yeah. some team that is weak on Zergzo may want to think about picking him up. He is a great player, but here we go. Who's gonna be able to take it? Will it be Symbol going to Code S once again, or will we have Billowy? <laughs> Over here on the right side of the map, our teamless Zerg player, former TSL, former Azubu, he is. Symbol. Cross opponent across the map on Habitation Station, he is. Below it. All right, let's see what these guys are up to. Who would you like to see move forward here? Well, that's a tough question to ask me on the spot, but... Well, I mean, if I had, if I could pick one and it was up to me, mm -hmm. I would pick Symbol just because of exactly what I said before. He needs to be in Kodas to get a new team, you know, and to you know, fight for his relevancy, whereas Billy has Pro League to back, fall back on. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, like on a personal level, like just looking at these, I'm like, well, this is better for everybody, like, you know, in like an equality sort of sense, yeah, but yeah. the player I would rather watch games of in Codes is Billowy because really? uh, I like his style and he plays a little bit differently than everybody else. He does, and I I do agree with that part of it. I want to um, see him like challenged on the big stage with his style. Sure, I see what you're saying. I don't know if I agree though because it's like I look at Symbol and I just want Codes to be as hard as it can possibly be, and Symbol playing his best, almost no one in the world can beat him. Right, True. like he's one of the very top players when he's actually like in full shape. He, at least he's shown us that in the past. Uh, and maybe getting into Code S, uh, he can regain that top form and be one of those real contenders where it's like, well, look at this, symbols in top eight again. There we go, like he's back. Yeah, and uh, that's always fun. So, I think I'd prefer Symbol to win this, uh, even though it's true. Billowy's shown us some really cool new stuff here. Well, let's see what he shows us against the double hatch before pool from Symbol. He scouted, uh, of course, early on with that Overlord and the drone, yeah. that it's a uh, gateway expand, so he counters it. Billowy yeah. doing quite a bit of gateway expanding. Yeah. Suits his style a lot. Mm -hmm. They become a bit more normal as well in this matchup to see gateway expands. It's like... It really goes back and forth quite a bit, yeah, to be honest. It's, it's a, and it's it needs to. If it stays on one, then Zergs are going to counter, counter, counter. And we've seen that so much in the past, you know, like... Uh, when people were only forge expanding for what was it like a year and a half two years straight it was all forge expands uh you know zergs got so good at three base go to 62 drones make sure your opponent isn't mortal pushing okay now broodlord and fester like they just got so good at it and having the two builds that you can go between it's just important to keep zerg on their toes and make them take the same sort of uh sometimes risky openings that you you do well, he's going to uh, be up against a gold base, most likely a mortal push follow-up to this. Yeah, that's uh, it's a very strong opening. Uh, I, I do like that type of play from here. And he's only got a one gas still, and the Overlord does see that, so just something to keep in mind. The only reason why you can do this on this map versus a map like Overgrowth is that the gold base here has a high ground and it's close uh, to your natural. You know he's going for a, a pylon. He is going to do a three... Warp gate pressure, I believe. And I think Symbol is basically caught onto this. He's making more Zerglings than you would expect. 
Yep. Look at the way he sends him too. Yeah. He actually he knows exactly what's going on here with the one gas. It's like, oh yeah, you're doing that. Okay. No problem. He's just gonna have to cancel this pylon. Yeah. Leave it up for as long as possible. Buy time for the other pylons and kill uh, as many zerglings as possible here as well. I don't even know if um, he should even make those other pylons. Well, he really wants to do this attack, but he's already forced things. I think it's been a success. Yeah, and he's forcing 14 more. And in fact, look at how stubborn this is. This is like pretty, pretty silly. I mean, actually, with the time warp and these queens off creep, they well, basically move backwards. <laughs> how slow they are. But I still There's time he's... travel going on right now. <laughs> uh, look at this. He's actually he killed two, you know what? two queens. Um, yeah. It's too bad that he lost that Mothership Core. He may have been able to pull that back a little bit quicker and, uh, you know, still killed the two queens, unfortunately. So a little bit of a mistake. But getting two queens and forcing this many lings, I definitely put that into a positive for Billowy. Well, he has now a positive worker advantage over his opponent, plus they're on a gold base. Yeah. That's a big deal. You have more workers and you have a gold base, whereas they're on three hatch. Simple <laughs> like, supply block, too, actually, with two overlords in making mm. right now. And look at this. Uh, with the constant Zealot Warpins, this is something that we've seen a lot in the past, especially when you look at a player like San, who will go gateway expand into a four-gate attack off of a gas. Uh, if you just keep warping in Zealots up front, you continue to make them make a lot of Zerglings, which really hurts their economy. Look at this. He's very low on drones right now compared to where he'd want to be. And these Zalts don't even have to attack. You just do that over and over. You walk towards the, the Zerglings to make sure you still make them. You're like, hey, look, I warped in more Zealots. Now you make more Zerglings. Gentleman's agreement. Walk backwards. Yeah. And that's exactly what we see happening here. And he's going into that Immortal Push. This is this is great play by Billowy. It's going to be uh, really hard to stop this without Roaches. And, I mean, he's going to actually fight this. He's get, he gets a surround on the Zealots, but there's still Zealots versus Zerlings, and the Queen's had a little bit of extra DPS here. Yeah, the Queen's definitely helping out quite a bit, but look at how many Zealots are actually left over at the end of this. Yeah. I don't think you chase these Queens down this No. Side. Well, you know what, if you can actually get one, it's pretty nice, but... Yeah, but you shouldn't be able to get one. Yeah, I mean, he, I guess he's getting rid of some of the energy on him as well, which is good. I think he's also just trying to make him make more Lings for more... to waste more okay. Larva for less Roaches. That definitely makes some sense. But the, um, I mean, it's okay if he makes more roaches than lings, though, because of the uh, yeah. immortals coming across. So I guess just in general, I think he's just trying to be like, still, still, take me seriously. I'm, I'm really gonna yeah. attack you right oh, now. This in is a second. still happening, dude. And in fact, it's still the same pylon that he's gonna push off of. Very strong play. Seven centuries. Wow, this is. I really underestimated the value of that pylon. I, I was so sure that it might have been a yeah. mistake to, to keep <laughs> it. Uh. Well, it's worked out fantastically. Doesn't even need that mothership core at this point. Could actually just walk up here and force the lings out. Yeah, I think that that's probably what he wants to do, but Symbol knows that. He gets on top of things, brings his drone down from the top. Good force fields, though, on the bottom, trying to keep things back. Yeah, he's good uh, stop micro on those drones, Ooh, too. Ooh, yeah, that's really nicely done. Of course, uh, still the sentries and immortals doing work. Way too much behind. damage here. Yeah. Symbol just didn't have the economy. GG. That was very, very well done by Billowy. Yep. Well executed. Uh, he did a great job, and, you know, Symbol, he was caught in a pretty tough spot. Against a build like that, you know, that build is really quite similar to the build San does, but it's less of a committal than what San does. And, you know, when San does it, it's this funny thing, because most Protosses can't pull it off, and then you have San do it, and he just kills every Zerg in the whole world, like, every time. It's It feels that way, at least, yeah, no, when you watch him. Uh, but Billowy, with, it's like, less invested, all and of course, it's on extra, that map with the gold base, yeah. which makes it even cooler. All the gold minerals that he has for the extra zealots. Uh, clearly a well-practiced build. And Symbol, having to make so many lings, doesn't have the drone count he needs to compete with a two-base Pros, and it's a two-base Pros on a gold base. So he just barely is not able to hold there. The Queens, a nice attempt there with them as well, but... Uh, you know, I sometimes feel in a situation like that where they just keep warping the zealots that, like, maybe you're supposed to try to...